Question number eight, Dr. Russell Norman. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Uh, my question is to the Prime Minister and asks. Is it government policy to tackle the economic and environmental crises at the same time? If so, how? The Honourable Prime Minister. Speaker, uh, Mr. Speaker, the government's policy is to maximise New Zealand's economic opportunities while meeting our environmental responsibilities. Our response to the global economic downturn includes policies that are good for our economy while also being good for the environment. These include our $50 million commitment to the developing a national cycleway, a new $36 million grants program for biodiesel production and other environmentally friendly initiatives which will be detailed in the budget on Thursday. Dr Russell Norman. Uh, thank you, Mr Speaker. Uh, does he agree uh, that by investing $600 million over the next three years in protecting our waterways, as laid out in the Green Party's Green New Deal stimulus package, by doing so, he would create 4,500 jobs, restore water quality, protect our clean and green reputation, thereby dealing with both the economic and environmental crises at the same time. The Honourable Prime Minister. Uh, Mr Speaker, I haven't seen the specific policy from the Greens, but I can confirm that enhancing the quality of our waterways is something that's important to the government, and we are working on ways to make sure we achieve that. Uh, on a number of fronts, including uh, a, a good structure for co-management of the Waikato River. Chris Mr. Speaker, Hall. to the Prime Minister, are there any initiatives in the upcoming budget that have environmental and economic benefits, and if so, what are they? Honourable Prime Minister. Mr. Speaker, yes, yes, there are. One initiative I'm particularly excited about is the government's home installation program, which the Minister of Energy has developed in conjunction with Jeanette Fitzsimons of the Greens. The government scheme will help many more New Zealanders make their homes warmer, drier and healthier. The economy will benefit from increased employment in the building and construction industry and the environment will benefit from increased energy efficiency. I look forward to the announcements in the budget and when I see the announcements I know that they'll be funded unlike the ones that were promised from the Labour Party that were not. Dr Russell Norman. Thank you Mr Speaker. Uh, does the Prime Minister agree that by investing $2 billion over the next three years on new state housing, as laid out in our Green New Deal stimulus package, he could create 28,000 new jobs, improve the lot of families in desperate need of affordable housing, thereby dealing with economic, social and environmental issues at the same time. The Honourable Prime Minister. Mr Speaker, um, that may or may not be correct. What I can confirm is the government is investing, or, albeit modestly, in building more state houses. But more importantly, it's actually spending a lot of money in terms of renovating state houses. That work's begun already. And uh, all I can say, Mr Speaker, is the aim of the government is to no longer be the slum landlord that we inherited from the Labor Party. Dr thank Russell you. Norman. Uh, thank you, Mr Speaker. Uh, does he agree that shifting $1 billion of investment from new motorways to more sustainable alternatives like better buses, trains, safer walking and cycling, he could create 40 per cent more jobs, lower overall transport costs, reduce our oil import bill, thereby dealing with the economic and environmental crises at the same time? The Honourable Prime Minister. Speaker, um, no, I don't necessarily agree with that, but what I can confirm is that National is going to spend $1.6 billion to upgrade Auckland's commuter rail infrastructure, that will spend $201 million on subsidising uh, public transport services uh, nationally in the 2009-2010 level, the highest ever. And what I can say is I, I think the government has shown a real appetite to want to build more state highways. Uh, we're spending a billion dollars a year on that, and I think that is actually an important measure because when cars are sitting idle on state highways that don't work, that aren't properly connected, they add very negatively to the environmental out output for New Zealand. Dr Russell Norman. Uh, supplementary. Thank you, Mr Speaker. In light of his answers, uh, does he then disagree with his finance minister, Bill English, the Honourable Bill English, who said that one crisis at a time might just do most governments, and will he be talking with his finance minister about the advantages of joined-up thinking about dealing with economic and environmental crises at the same time. The Honourable Prime Minister. Mr. Um, firstly, I always agree with the Minister of Finance. Secondly, <coughs> I know New Zealand is very... 
I know New Zealand is very lucky uh, to have him uh, as a finance minister reading the budget on Thursday. Uh, and Mr Speaker, New Zealanders will be grateful on Thursday when they hear the budget being read out that they're not looking at a picture across their TV screens of Michael Cullen who knew how to spend money but certainly couldn't run a government efficiently. <laughs>